Ukraine faces enormous military odds against Russia. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, Russia's defense budget in 2020 is $61.7 billion, ranking it the fourth in the world. In the meantime, Ukraine spent only $5.9 billion on defense that year. The Russian military has the ability to mobilize 1 million active personnel, which ranks fifth in the world, in comparison to Ukraine's army of 245,000. Russia has 15,000 armored military vehicles, including tanks, more than five times the fleet of Ukraine. In other words, if both countries take the same military approach, Ukraine will be of no match against Russia. But Ukraine have been choosing a different approach by defending and use of advanced light weaponry capable of inflicting significant damage on heavy Russian equipments. These advanced light weaponry are mainly provided by the United States and European countries. The US and its allies are flooding Ukraine with weapons to destroy Russian tanks and armored vehicles as part of a larger effort to arm and support the Ukrainians. Over the past few weeks, they've sent more than 17,000 anti-tank weapons, including Javelin missiles, across the Polish and Romanian borders, unloading them from massive military cargo planes so they can be transported by land to Kyiv and other major cities. According to Defense News, President Joe Biden authorized an additional $350 million in military aid to Ukraine on February 25, including Javelin and Stinger anti-aircraft missiles. Furthermore, Germany announced over the weekend that it will send around 500 Stinger missiles to Ukraine, while the Netherlands announced that it will send 200 Stinger missiles. The Baltic states like Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia are sending enormous anti-tank and anti-aircraft systems. Russia is getting a taste of its own medicine once more. Stinger missiles, which harassed and maimed Russian aircraft during the Afghanistan war a generation ago, are now being used on the Ukrainian battlefield, causing heavy damage to Russian air assets. During the Soviet war in Afghanistan, Stinger shot down over 250 Soviet aircraft and helicopters. Furthermore, despite the Afghan fighters' poor training, more than 80% of the launchers were successful. Hence, it is extremely well recommended. Because the Russians have demonstrated the use of helicopters to land troops in air assault operations in Ukraine, the Stinger can defend against such actions. One of the reasons the Stinger is so effective is that it is extremely portable and can be launched by a soldier or trained civilian by carrying it on their shoulder. The Stinger missile, in addition to being versatile, it is also highly accurate because it uses an infrared seeker to lock on to the heat in the engine's exhaust. The Stinger missile has a range of about 5 miles or 8 kilometers and can hit targets flying as high as 11,500 feet or 3,500 meters. This means that if the moving target is slow and falls within the range of the Stinger missile and visible as a shape rather than a dot, the Stinger missile can most likely hit it. The Javelin missile, on the other hand, has enough firepower to pierce tank armor from 2.5 kilometers away and it is equipped with imaging infrared seeker. The missile has 8.4 kilograms tandem shape charge warhead. A precursor warhead detonates any explosive reactive armor and the primary warhead penetrates the base armor. Javelin missiles have two modes of fire, allowing operators to attack targets from above or directly on the side of a target armored vehicle. When attacked from the top, the Javelin's warhead is capable of defeating even modern tanks because the armor at the top is thin. It can reach a peak altitude of 150 meters in top attack mode and 60 meters in direct fire mode. Because of these characteristics, the Javelin has become the weapon of choice for repelling tank invasions, especially in urban settings. 
Two Marine veterans told Task and Purpose that the weapons targeting pod feels a lot like a video game, making it even easier for younger troops to be trained on and will take just 20 or 30 minutes to learn how to use a Javelin anti-tank system. Another significant advantage of Javelin and Stinger anti-aircraft missiles is that they are both fire-and-forget systems. This is crucial to both of these weapon systems. A shooter can be exposed for a short period of time. He shoots the weapon, it has a signature, but the shooter can move while the weapon is in flight. The Javelin missile was hailed as a game-changer by Ukrainian troops recently. The Ukrainian troops said that it means we can fight the Russians and it doesn't matter how many there are now and we have a way of stopping their armor. The Russians can't scare us any longer with numbers. So there is hope to the Ukrainians because of these advanced light weaponry that have a huge defensive capability against such heavy armored vehicles and tanks of the Russians. Though predating the recent Russian invasion, an image of Mary Magdalene holding a javelin missile in the style of Eastern Orthodox iconography began to circulate on social media. This image is now known as Saint Javelin, represents much of the seemingly miraculous Ukrainian resistance against overwhelming Russian forces. With thousands of javelin anti-tank missile in its arsenal, the Ukrainian army now possesses a force-multiplying weapon capable of repelling a Russian attack. The presence of javelins and much-needed javelin simulators to rapidly train Ukrainian forces in their use, combined with the transfer of stingers, would significantly augment Ukrainian military capabilities and strengthen Kyiv's defense. Videos of a strike on a stationary Russian tank are circulating on social media. Ukraine has claimed to have shot down 46 Russian planes and 68 helicopters, as well as destroying 289 tanks. Now, these figures cannot be verified, but there is enough evidence of combat damage to suggest that modern Western weaponry is helping in the country's defense. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in.